some more news stories for you is firstly Ethiopian diaspora community has held some protests in the US uh, some protests are going to start in coming hours secondly uh, an opposition party of Tigray has released a statement Tigray's uh, Asimba Democratic Party ADP has released a statement and thirdly viewers, Oromia regional government seems to be changing its position regarding the ongoing military operation against Oromo Liberation Army. It was being said that the operation would be uh, concluded in one month. But now the government is changing its position. Why is that? And lastly, viewers, uh, some uh, Tigray activists are claiming that a death squad has been established to target Oromo and SNNPR military officers who are part of Ethiopian National Defense Force. Very alarming claim. I would say it's a claim by a Tigray activist. Firstly, viewers, let's start. Uh, with a new story from the US. Ethiopian diaspora community has held some rallies in Washington DC a few hours ago. Uh, Ethiopian diaspora members, irritant diaspora members, they took part in this rally. The rally was obviously against HR 6600 S3199, two bills pending with US House and Senate. Uh, the protesters the chanted slogans against HR 6600, S3199 and Brad Sherman, uh, member of US House who played a key role in passing HR 6600 at US House's Foreign Relations Committee. More protests are expected in Los Angeles, California in coming hours. Two bills are pending. Uh, Ethiopian government is trying to stop further proceedings on these two bills. Uh, some sources say that the US government has suspended the two bills. Suspended means that the uh, US government is waiting to see the outcome of the truce announced by the government, Ethiopian government more than two weeks ago. That is why the bill are pending. They have not been abandoned. They are just pending. Uh, but Ethiopian government wants to ensure that these bills are not uh, uh, processed further, that there is no voting held at US House and US uh, Senate. Uh, while Tigrayan diaspora members are also continuing their protests, they want the US government to press ahead with these two bills. Watch this clip from Washington DC showing uh, Ethiopian diaspora community protesting against HR 6600, S3199. Mostly Ethiopian flags can be seen. And the flags are without star sign. It means that these are mostly Amhara uh, community members who are participating. They use mostly uh, Ethiopian flag without star sign. Watch this clip of protest of uh, diaspora community in the US from Washington DC. Secondly, viewers, a Tigray political party has released a statement. What is the name of this party? Party's name is Asimba Democratic Party, ADP, opposition party, which has been opposing Tigray People Liberation Front, TPLF, in the past. What does this party want? Its party, this party's leader is in prison. His name is Dori S. Gidom. He was arrested in January 2021 by Ethiopian government. 
uh, he was opposing the deployment of Iranian forces to Tigray. He, he spoke about that as well. He was arrested. He is still in prison for more than a year. Dori Esgidom of uh, Asimba Democratic Party is in prison. The political party is demanding the release of uh, uh, Dori Esgidom. Interestingly, Sambat Naga has been released, who is said to be founding member of TPLF. Uh, and five other main leaders of TPLF released. And Dori Esgidom is still in prison. Why is that? Just because he's spoke against Eratians, why is that? I mean, if you can release uh, Sibbat Naga, then why not Dori Eskidam? But he is still in prison. I am not aware of any formal charges against Dori Eskidam. If he has been in prison since uh, January 2021, there must have been some formal charges against him. Uh, was he sentenced by some court? I don't know. I have not heard that he was sentenced by some court. Then why is he being kept in prison? He should be released like other leaders. If he is in prison, then what are the formal charges against him? Uh, thirdly, viewers, uh, Oromia Regional Government Spokesperson uh, has released a statement just a few hours ago. Romia government is now changing its position regarding the ongoing military operation against Oromo Liberation Army. The operation started more than a week ago and since the start of the operation, we have been hearing that the government wanted to complete the operation in one month. But now the government is changing its position. Halu Edugna is the spokesperson of Oromia Regional Government. He is head of communication department of Oromia Government. He says that Oromia President Shimalis Abdisa never said that the operation against Shine OLA would be completed in one month. But he claims that progress is being made. Operation will continue. What does this statement shows? show? It shows viewers that uh, I think uh, Ethiopian federal government, Oromia regional government, they underestimated Oromo Liberation Army. They thought that they would wrap up this operation in one month, in a few weeks. But they are facing stiff resistance. Uh, we have not seen any major gains by government forces so far. Instead, we are seeing statements from OLA, OLA back news sources. They are sharing pictures, videos of captured government soldiers, their captured weaponry. And government so far has nothing to show. No main commander of OLA has been arrested so far. Government is just laying siege to the to Romi region, which is almost impossible. It's very difficult to lay siege to entire Romi region. So government is finding it difficult, I think. That is why the government now says that it never said it would uh, complete the operation in one month. It's a long, protracted guerrilla warfare. That is what I have been saying for the past four to five days. That it would be a long, protracted war between OLA and government forces. Because Oromia is not a small region, two countries and almost all regions of Ethiopia except Tigray, they share border with Oromia. So it's almost impossible to man all these borders. And OLA has significant uh, public support as well. Today, uh, Romo Federalist Congress opposed this operation, Jawar Bekle Garba party. It will lead to further support for Oromo Liberation Army. So I think uh, the Romia government has realized that it cannot complete the operation in one month. That is why it's changing its position. Lastly, viewers, a claim is being made, a claim, again I'm saying, is being made by a Tigray activist. He says that a death squad has been formed to target Oromo and SNNPR military commanders. So, uh, and this death squad is uh, working in North Wallo. I think he, he, he seems to be saying that uh, uh, ENDF military officers who are Oromos and SNPR from SNNPR, 
they will be targeted. And he said that there are three main uh, persons who are part of this squad. Firstly, uh, Colonel, Colonel Zaleke, he is a Colonel of Amhara Special Force. Secondly, some Fano members, uh, Abebe Fintao and uh, Mogus Abira. He says, the Tigray activist, that this uh, three-person squad will target, uh, with the help of obviously subordinates, it will target Romo uh, military officers and SNNPR military officers because uh, uh, Amhara uh, elite, Amhara political elite believes that uh, a project of Oromoma is underway. Greater Oromia is being built. Oromos are being given key positions in government departments, in the ENDF as well. That is why this uh, death squad has been formed. We have no obviously uh, confirmation. We are sharing it just as a claim by a Tigray uh, activist. I think for watching.